In the Netherlands, there's a general store. And in this general store, everything is sold in bulk. So when you walk into the store, the happy fellow who walks up to greet you, the owner, he'll ask you what you want. And you might say to him, I like a pound of coffee bean. He'll walk over the barrel, the barrel that contains the coffee bean. He'll stick his scoop in to that barrel. He'll walk over to the scale and he'll measure out one pound exactly. And then with a smile on his face and a twinkle in his eye, he yells out the word, Lanyepe. And then he adds a little extra. You see, translated, Lanyepe means you're going to get exactly what you want, plus a little extra, a little bit more. Well, that turns out to be the key message and a point of today's gospel reading. The gospel coming out of the 25th chapter of Matthew, verses 1 to 13. How important it is to, ex to do exactly what's expected from you, plus a little bit more, doing the little extra. That's what separates being good from being great, when you do the little extra. Let's take a look at verse 1 in the first half of the second verse, 25th chapter of Matthew. It says here, Jesus told his disciples this parable, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. Now the foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. So when you look at those two verses, verse 1 and the first half of the second verse, what we know is this, all ten virgins had lamps. And it clearly appears from what this says that the foolish virgins had lamps but no oil. It says right there they had no oil. That, in fact, would be pretty foolish. It would be like having a flashlight without any batteries or a car without keys or, or maybe french fries without ketchup. It, 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 just, it just misses something. You, they should have had the oil. Now, when we examine this reading a little bit further, we're going to discover something a little different. Let's move to verse 8 of the 25th chapter of Matthew. Now the foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of the oil, and look at the very last line, for our lamps are going out. Now with verse 8, we can conclude this. Yes, the foolish ones in fact had oil. At first, I thought they didn't have any oil at all. That's what made them so foolish. Now they had oil because their lamps could not be going out if they didn't have oil in the first place. So now we can conclude this, at least I think we can. All ten had lamps, all ten had oil. But what makes the foolish foolish and a wise wise? What was the difference between the two? Prepare it. Well, that's going to be it. Let's take a look at the rest of verse 2. Verse 25, chapter 25, Matthew. Here it is. Now the foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, although we know that oil in the lamps. But the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. The wise had extra oil. They had oil in the lamps, and they had containers of oil. So they were ready to go when the bridegroom's delayed in coming. No problem. Our lamps are going out. We'll just get our containers and pour more in. That's a simple little message, but how much that means in life. It's the police officer who does his or her job, and then they do the little extra. It's the teacher that is, does exactly what they're supposed to do as a teacher, then they do a little extra. It's the priest, hopefully, that does everything it's supposed to do as a priest and then does a little extra. It's the mom and dad who does their job as a mom and dad just right, but then they do the little extra. They go the little extra mile. Those are the people you never forget. Those are the people you always appreciate. And if you have a person like that, maybe that's part of your hire that works for you, and they say to you they're going to quit or they're going to retire, they're going to move on, you say to yourself, how do I replace that person? They always did their job and they did just a little bit more. That person becomes indispensable. The gospel message is pretty simple. All ten had lamps, all ten had oil, but the foolish ones had no extra. Do any extra Given the extra, doing something a little special for someone else, that just means so much. It reminds me of that fella in that general store in the Netherlands. Whenever you would order anything from him, a pound of coffee beans, he would make sure you got one pound exactly. And then he would yell out the word lanyepe, and he would give you a little bit more. And make sure you remember that, because lanyepe simply means this. 
You're going to get everything you ask for and a little bit more. That's what makes life special. That what makes certain people special in our lives. Those who do what's expected, and then they do just a little bit more. They do the lanyape. 